This is the story of the third emperor of Western Han Dynasty. We call him Emperor Wen of Han. Before Emperor Wen claimed the throne, there were a dramatic chaos within the empire. After the death of Emperor Hui, Western Han was still under the reign of Emperor Stoujie Lu for another seven years. During her reign, she empowered all her family members as vassal state lords, which violates Emperor Gaozu's law of demonstrating only his bloodline descendants are allowed to inherit the titles of nobles. This therefore caused a civil war within the empire between Liu and Liu families. Eventually, Liu family won the war as they earned the most loyalties from the senators and the generals. However, the situation went worse as all descendants of Emperor Gaozu turned out to fight against each other for the throne after defeated Liu family. Two senior senators then decided to support the fourth prince, Liu Heng, which is now known as Emperor Wen. Since he also had a merciful personality and truly a man of vision, he is qualified of being an emperor. After receiving the letter from the senators, Emperor Wen traveled immediately from his ruling state called Dai to the imperial city Chang'an before the other three princes arrived. After Emperor Wen seized the throne, he began to execute his idealistic mind of improving the empire's economic. First of all, he reduced half of residents' taxes, giving out free lands to the residents for farming and forbidden all royalties to live in extravagant lifestyles. He once said to his firstborn son, an emperor should set example of having a frugal and hardworking life for all residents to follow in order to earn their respect and improve a country's economic. Emperor Wen believes in order to strengthen the empire is by improving its economic. Once the economic stables, it enables its ability to conquer neighbor countries. Under Emperor Wen's 23 years rule, the economic of the empire grew stronger every day. Except for the occasional invasion on the northern borders by the Huns. In order to maintain peace with the Huns, Emperor Wen followed the rule from his father, Emperor Gaozu, to send gold, food, and women to the Huns. However, Emperor Wen predicts there will going to be a war with the Huns in future one day. Therefore, he enforced agriculture to earn as much as resources they can for the future use in future battles. I believe Emperor Wen could be a very idealistic, exemplary person for all entrepreneur successors to follow, especially the second generations. His frugal and hardworking behavior truly taught me, in order to earn respect from others, it's by setting example.